Hi guys, welcome back as we once again witness the beautiful and glorious scenes of Napoleon at Total War Online. This is another one of our glorious 12 battles of Christmas. And in this one, Karl von Clausewitz, once again, thank you very much to him for sending this replay in, is going to be fighting on the Savoy Hilltop uh, against the Prussians as the French. Now, you can see Savoy Hilltop is a very weird map where you pretty much start in this area, either side of a big canyon on the way up the hill, and it's going to be another glorious battle as his chasseur and cheval are moving forth towards the enemy already. Now, we'll go through the army compositions. The uh, Prussians are a bit messed up, so it's quite hard to tell how many of each unit they have. Uh, but I believe they have two of the foot guards, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe three of the foot guards, four of the foot guards, uh, and four of the Prussian fusiliers, as well as a couple of landwehr units, some of the militia units, and the rest all musketeers. And at the minute... I believe there's no cavalry unless they are hiding down here in the trees. Now, Carl, he has three of the standard chasseur infantry, uh, light infantry, should I say, as well as the standard... Oh, no, he doesn't go with the standard general for once. He goes with uh, Mr. Salt. Very good, Marshal Salt. Very decent general in the Napoleonic Wars as well. As well as uh, three Swiss foot uh, or is it four? Yeah, four Swiss foot. One Polish legion. Where are the glorious Polish boys? Here they are. Very nice uniforms. I do really like the uniforms on those boys. He's got the unit of the 18th Regiment d'Infanterie uh, de Ligne, the Brave. Uh, the Brave Regiment of Infantry, Special Infantry there. As well as a National Guard Militia unit. These boys from the early, very early Napoleonic Wars over here. As well as the Old Guard. The true elites of the Napoleonic era, as well as the young guard as well. And six, yes, six of these bad boys, the Chasseur Acheval. Very, very strong unit. And you can see they're both just jockeying for position right now, trying to get the best position up the hill. And pretty much, the further up the hill you get, the more advantage you get. So they're both going to try and get... Because the uh, Prussian player has not brought any cavalry whatsoever, or at least not exhibiting it here, and looking at the amount of units, it looks very unlikely that it has brought any cavalry at all. We can, t we can test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16... Yeah, there's no chance he's brought any cavalry. Uh, the chasseurs are going to block the way up here. And anything this Prussian player does, he's going to be blocked by the chasseurs right in the corner there. So they can't even get up into this corner. So great move by Carl early on. And we're going to press uh, fast forward just while they maneuver. But you can see he's pushing his men. The, uh, the whip is out. The whip is cracking as Carl is pushing his men towards the Prussian forces and a kind of a weird tactic by the Prussians here and you can see the chasseurs going in for a little bit of a skirmish early on taking out some of those foot guards actually an obscene amount 32 of those foot guards have been killed for not a single loss by the chasseurs there a nice little prod into the Prussian lines and it looks very much like this Prussian player is going to play very very defensive here and not go aggressive at all, unlike Carl, who's going full aggression over this way. With Marshal Salt overseeing the battlefield, looking into the hills right now. Here he is. There he is. Ready, looking into the hills right now, thinking, oh, wow. Look at those hills <laughs> of Savoy. Uh, but no, he is going to retreat slightly to look down on the Prussian army. Uh, and you can see... Prussian army maneuvering very weirdly right now. So I'm assuming this isn't one of the most experienced players we've seen on some of these replays. Um, so, yeah. They brought 8th Life Regiment they've got in there as well, as well as the Landwehr. Uh, and lots and lots of foot guards. So I guess they're just hoping that their huge amount of infantry will just be able to outmuscle the French here with sheer numbers alone and elite uh, eliteness of the amount of infantry. Five regiments of elite infantry is obscene, uh, really, in an online battle. It's never really seen. If there is five, or am I uh, wrong? No, there's a foot guard there. 
There's two foot guards there. So that's three, four, and then the eighth life regiment, which is uber elite. That's five units of elite infantry in one battle. That is obscene. You can see Carl's only brought two, the young guard and the old guard, and that is more standard uh, just to see one or two uh, elite infantry. Sometimes it'll push three with some of the cheaper nations like Prussia and Austria, etc. Uh, but with France, Britain, the big sort of players in the online uh, online gameplay, you really don't often see more than uh, one or two or or three units of the elite infantry there. So really elite army, just not being utilized particularly well <laughs> at the minute. Um, but you can see some great uh, maneuvering here. And he's run his men. They're all exhausted. So their morale is going to be hampered. And that is one thing to consider when a few of these guys are fresh, uh, active, uh, a couple tired. But a lot of them fresh, which is brilliant for the morale of the Prussians here. But surely, Carl is just going to be able to come around and just put the pain down on these guys. Look how bunched up they are. They are not spread out well at all. The skirmishers are not even in skirmish formation. Um, so, yeah. Unfortunate for this new player. They are going to get swamped here at some point. And I would assume that that point is going to be very soon. Uh, as they try and probe a little bit, looking at them coming up the hill. But you can see the chasseurs come down just to warn them off as the Landwehr come forward. I don't, I can't quite tell whether this is an uber elite player right now or whether they are a beginner because they're confusing me with their maneuvers. Uh, and I'm assuming at the minute that they're a beginner, but if they're going to do some crazy flanking maneuvers soon and just spread out from this formation. That would be cool to see, but I don't think we're going to see it as the Chasseurs are getting shot by the Landwehr. But the, uh, the uh, Chasseurs are going to win that battle. Even though they're in big block formations, the Landwehr do not have good, um, do not have good, uh, good accuracy or reloading skill whatsoever. Uh, as you can see, just more and more piling into the meat grinder of this little corner over here. Which just seems rather obscene, honestly. Why would you keep all your men in there? I do not know. As the Landwehr keep coming forward. He really wants this corner. That is the thing. Marshal Salt takes a couple of shots there. But luckily, uh, he has lived to see another day. As the Landwehr are just getting shredded uh, here. And surely this is a done deal already. Look at this block. This is, a sla this is going to be a Prussian slaughter. You can see the Musketeers going into square formation. So he's not so beginner that he doesn't know how to do square formation. Um, but you can see the pressure that's mounting on them. Like, uh, literally, three units of Chasseur a cheval, and three units of Chasseur is managing to tie in pretty much half his army here. And that is not a good sign when half of your army is tied in by a few troops. Uh, yeah, it's kind of obscene, really. As he does charge the square, I'm not sure why uh, he's gone for that charge. Maybe just to hold them from firing while he fires into them with the chasseurs. Uh, but more and more Landwehr are coming up. Ooh. Yeah, the chasseurs, they did run. And problem with routing on this, uh, when we're so close to the edge, they go straight off, as you can see. No chance you're getting them back. As the Swiss foot are just waiting while the National Guard, the Young Guard, and the Polish Legion get into position. Oh, look at that. What a charge. Straight through the middle. Straight through the middle of the Landwehr there with the Chasseur Cheval. And they're going to go straight into the next unit. Really causing chaos early on. This poor Prussian player has backed himself into a corner. And there is no escape. This is just going to be an absolute obscene slaughter here. It's going to be almost hard to watch. As the uh, Prussian troops are just backed by their general into the worst of places. They can't even get good shots off. If we look at them here, look at where they're shooting. They can't even see the French troops right now. So all they're doing is just shooting the backs of their own troops. As the poor Landwehr, who have been slaughtered, just move off the battlefield. That is crazy to see. The Musketeers in square here. That's good formation. Uh, but I don't know where the Landwehr are going right here. But this Musketeer is just getting shredded. We've seen this tactic before. I have used it myself as well. Copied off Carl, of course. Um, of shooting the enemy squares with your chasseurs. And just overwhelming them with firepower over here. As this Landwehr is about to get shredded. You can't even really see them in the trees. But here they are. 
They're going to get a couple of volleys from the Swiss foot here, and that is not something you want to see as a militia man. Organized Swiss, uh, Swiss troops uh, forming lines in front of you there. And you can see just the slaughter that has already gone on over here. And he's charged his chasseurs into the Landwehr, seizing the moment there as the square was disrupted by the Landwehr. Um, the Landwehr charging through the square, and this is just going to be brutal to witness. Um, really, really not in a good position here as the Prussian Fusiliers just get shredded with a volley there. That is obscene. Uh, that is fantastic. And then the Landwehr are pretty much dead already as here comes the Chasseurs once again charging into the uh, uh, Prussian Fusiliers who cannot form square as the 8th Life Regiment, not been useful so far, has not been able to be any more useful right now as the uh, Chasseurs break those Prussian Fusiliers. What a brutal battle uh, this has been so far. And you can see more and more chasseurs coming in the fight. Carl's hardly lost any men. <laughs> like, it's literally... He's not even uh, used his elites yet. And there's no need to use them, as you can see. See, these uh, foot guards here, they can't even see the enemy they're firing at. They're pretty much just firing into a side of a hill. Same with these guys. So really bad positioning there in the corner. I mean... Obviously, Our men are running. Yeah, 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 it's this. Um, but yeah, some brutal uh, maneuvering there. The National Guard, the militia, the meat grinder unit is going to come forward. They are confident, but they are very tired as well. So their, mo their morale is going to fall quickly. But look at just the brutal nature of the destruction of the Prussian army here. They are just getting absolutely shredded. Some of these Swiss foot have lost some men, you can see as they will do, but they are just slicing and dicing their way through this Prussian army. No holds barred at all, at all. And the Prussian player just unfortunately doesn't really have an answer at this point because they back themselves into such a corner over here. So we didn't get a lot of action for the first couple of minutes, but now it has all kicked off. And this is not just action, this is, this is crazy. <laughs> This is just a crazy slaughter. This is a bloodbath, really, for the Prussian player. Fully surrounded now. Backs against the edge of the map. There is nothing that they can do to rectify or save this situation in any way whatsoever. Carl would pretty much have to turn his men around to try and shoot the opposite way to lose this battle at this point. Uh, but yeah, lots of squares being formed uh, by the Prussians. But you can see they're just getting absolutely shredded down here. It's, And we do see the French troops now on the brink of the hill. So Carl pretty much just held his men at the back here for ages, not firing. And that is the micro that we've talked about in a few battles um, that is really hard to do. That amount of micro that you need to be a really good player at this like Carl is. Um, and uh, yeah, just hiding his men behind the hill so that they couldn't even see them. And they were just wasting their ammo firing into them. As uh, uh, And now he, he crests the hill so that his men can see the enemy. And finally, they are firing into them. And Our look at this. The Prussians so are trying to take back uh, a bit of honor over here. Pushing back the Swiss regiments of Swiss foot. But there is a special weapon in Karl's arsenal that hasn't even seen battle yet. And look at that. That is a glorious shot of the uh, old guard over here and I think young guards should I say over there and I've got to take a screenshot of that that was glorious as the musket as the musket volleys went down the line uh, but yeah this has been a bloodbath and it's going to continue like that as well as we see the Swiss foot the Polish legion and the 18th regiment of infantry of line the brave firing into these musketeers still got to be careful the uh, foot guards are still in here, but you can see the chasseurs now firing over the heads of their fellow uh, fellow troops. You can see hardly any friendly fire going in there at all, which is great to see. As the Polish Legion come down the hill and are about to fire a volley into the front ranks, the massed ranks of the foot guards. Here we are. Oh, look at that. That is a sight to see, guys. Beautiful shots there. Beautiful scenes. As, oh my god, the foot guards just get absolutely demolished. Look at that. They have come down from about 100 down to 67 in a couple of volleys there. That was brutal to witness. 
as more slaughtering goes on in the corner of death for the Prussians over here. Really has been the corner of death. And this is what I've talked about, about retreating and coming back into the fight. You can see the old guard went back into the trees there, recuperated for a little while, and they have come back ready. Oh, to put the pain down upon the Prussian Fusiliers. Once again, another brutal volley. As the 18th Regiment of D'Infanterie, the Linea the Brave, are going to charge the enemy. And that's enough to send them routing. Just the uh, the 16 men of the 18th oh, Regiment, D'Infanterie, de Ligne have made a mass route there. And truly, they have earned their namesake today. What a brutal, brutal destruction of the Prussian army there. That was a uh, great battle. Fantastic battle, guys. Uh, but let's have a look at some of the Unix statistics there. Uh, yeah, let's go for the kills. Chasseur's doing well. 114, 120, 107 for the Polish Legion, 94 for that Chasseur's, and everyone doing pretty well. Even the uh, Old God only got 53, but they only lost 8, and they were not in the battle for very long. Uh, but yeah, fantastic, fantastic battle there. Brutal destruction of the army of the Prussians there. Very, very, very good. Uh, good to watch. And that was just glorious. The charge of the 18th Regiment of the, uh, the Brave was just a glorious charge that pretty much sent the whole of the Prussian army routing. And they really did earn their namesake today, didn't they? Fantastic to witness. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, our 11th uh, day of our 12 battles of Christmas, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.